the World Championships. In the Littleweight category, there will be 15 rounds. Both the players are getting ready in their corners. And so are the coaches. The challenger from the American side is Jackie Royson. This is what has been happening since ages. The Thai men seek for Wrangler. Come on, Please, give me the way. Save yourself. Save yourself. Come back. Run, run, run. Stupid. Let's get out of the way. Please, save us. What is this happening? What is it happening? Come on. Come on, come on. Hey, get out of here. What's that? And there's a bomb? Aeon said he saw a motorcycle passed by the bomb. How many people? Two. Were they dumb and poo? Tell me, are you sure? No, I'm not sure. Then what have you seen, man? You are a useless and a dumb guy. Hey, Dan. I think first of all we should save people from here. All right, friend. As you want me to do. When the cops come, tell them it's just the transformer and take care of it. Sure. Hey, Lamp Paul. You both go find them and capture them. Go find them and bring them to me. But don't try to harm them in any way. I will investigate him myself. Go. 
Dang! Dang! My son! Dang! 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 What are you doing here since so long? There are guests at home. Go and meet them. Hey, come with me. Hey, stop Please, it. Please, come with don't me. Don't want to go. Hey, why don't you understand? Come on. Understand. Tell me, what's your price? Ah. Hey, hey. Ah. Hey, you sexy girl, come with me. Hey. I will give you a lot of pleasure. Come along. Uh, uh, take this. Uh, hey, hey. Take this. Hey. Hey. What are you doing? Why are you hitting me? Hey, you. I'll tell you. Daddy, I'll show you. Leave him, Dad. Uh. Just leave him. At that time, Dang Barely was only 13. And that was his first happiness. Dang was my close friend, born in a terrible environment, being raised by a prostitute, boosted him to compensate it with something else. And for 40 years old men like us, nothing else is better than becoming a gangster. Or you can say that's the only option we have. At that time, Bangkok was called Pranakon. There's a lot of trams. The time that James Dean, Elvis and rock and roll songs were very popular among teens like us. The time technical students fought each other every day. Gangsters were more than monks. We were also one of them. And from then on, that's our time. It's called a gangster age. It was just the beginning. Catch him, catch him! Hey, oh, hey, 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 quick, quick! Can't hold him! No, 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 leave me! Get down! Hit him, hit him hard! Yes! Yes! Move, move, move! Run, 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 run! Catch oh, them! Hey. 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 Where are you going? Oh. Hey. Where are you going? Let me check you. Hey, leave her. Just leave him. Where are you running, huh? Hey, let them go. Just get off. Stop it, Pooh. What happened? Why are you stopping me? Well, James Dean was our hero. We all consider him a god. And Dang was James Dean's big fan. Among us, Pew Bottle Bomb and Dumb Esso was the badass sidekick. They went everywhere together like a shadow. Pew was the gang boss of David's school. He famed himself using Bottle Bomb to fight with technical students. Pew always acted like a boss. Moore was a mad, straightforward and gave no care to anyone. He was hardly concerned about others. He never bothered about anything. He was a real playboy. And Dumb was the quiet owner of SO Type. If Pew were a mouth, Dumb would be arms and legs, doing what Pew ordered without any argument. For every fight, Dumb was the first one to arrive. Both Pew and Dumb were best friends who could die for each other. Another was Lam Singh, Dang's best friend and underling. He grew up in Bairli Alley. That's the place where he started working. Bairli's was his nest. Lam Singh was a fighter. Like everywhere was fine with friend. He intended to be under Dang's control, even he is elder. And this is me, Piek. 
I was studying the second year at Pathuvan Technical. I lived with the monk, my father, at Parinoya Cubicle. Dang and I were real close, so I was in his gang. Skipped school and fought everywhere. My father was concerned I would die someday, fighting for my friends, or would ruin my life with my friends. And this was the power of fashion. It's 180 kilometers per hour. Hmm. Crushed with the electric pole. Surely a pulp. Couldn't even identify the body. As you were there, it's just reported. Hmm. I heard from the radio this morning. Trust me, lamb. Hey, I have seen the car accident with my own eyes. The victim's face hit the steering wheel, and the eyes were popped out. It rolled out into the pan, and then she started screaming. Hey, Dam, what pan is Prow's mom using? It's a boy. What a disgusting! You have told this story for so many times. Hey, Lam Singh has never heard of this story. There's one more thing. The roof collapsed and it pierced through the head, and the brain poured out like a white jelly. It looked yummy. Trust me, I'm telling you, it was tasty. <coughs> Yum. I won't believe you. I know that you are just blabbering. Hey, ask them if you don't believe me. We used to live close to the cemetery. We saw a lot of bodies. Hey, friends. According to the newspaper, that person was traveling in a different city in his new car. And do you know in which car he was traveling? He was driving his favorite Porsche Spider. Did that mean he has never raced before? No, no. He got an accident first. You see, he loved a racing car, so he died because of that. As they say, live life, king size. Like lamb likes to eat nut, it will cause him death some days. That's nonsense. Let's focus on James Dean. Understood? Stop going off the topic. Keep going, Dang. Ah, nothing great. A car just overtaked him, and he suddenly hit the brake. And then he slid to the pole and died. What a regret! <laughs> Boom! And you know what's the regret? He was too young, and he just did three films till now. The ladies must be mournful because of his death. What happened, Piak? You look so blue right now. Or are you one of the ladies, huh? Go to hell. What's wrong, Piak? It's nothing. The school keep asking me for the term fee. I don't know what to do. And what about your dad? Does he know about it? I don't want to bother him. He has been sick lately. To be honest, I'm, I'm done. Know what to do? Should I leave the school and work seriously? Hey, just try to chill, buddy. You should just study. Trust me. Agreed. I want to study so bad, but I can't. What do you want me to do then? I'm middle in nowhere. Come on. Take it easy. So here you are. It's not right to be out so late. Where have you been? You are students, not gangsters. And you, my son Dang, you've been out so late too. What have you been doing? Your mom, she must be really worried about you. <coughs> hey, Biak, come over inside. I might come a bit late tonight, so you please pick me up. How was the ordination? What do you think about it? Two days ago, I visited the Holy Father at Parinayak Temple. He said that you remain quite disturbed, so I want you to be ordinated at the end of the year. Father wants Piak to be ordinated as well. Do you understand? What are you doing? I honestly think that you should do it by next month. 
Once we get a perfect date, then you can do it right away. Are you even listening? All right. But you? You should stop doing this job. Mr. Ma did it, right? Same old person. Silly. If you let me protect you, then this won't ever happen again. So what can you do? Tell me that. <laughs> well, in that case, you will know it once you witness it. While only 16 years old, Tang started his own business. There's only one, Lam Singh. Let's go. His sidekick being his only one underling. Just remember, you are going to mess with Mr. Ma. He's gonna kill you. Lam, you mean to say you are scared of him? Hey, never. He's just a dust with a yellow body from a poppy. Just yesterday, a labor punched him and hit on his head. But dang, don't you forget that there is only both of us and there is a pack of them. How can we fight them? You just wait and watch. I'll show you what I can do. Let's make it James Dean commemoration. Let's make it big. People say Wakeney Ban is performing Elvis songs. What, Dini? Yeah. That's great, isn't it? Well, who organizes it? Toko Lang Wang is the sponsor himself. And the organizer is... Sir... Pang Lang Wang. Sir, this is for you. And this for and you. And he worships Elvis like God. <sighs> hmm. And if someone dresses like Elvis, then it will break that person's bones. Yeah, it will sure be a chaos. Believe me, a lot of gangs must join this event. And I guarantee that this will happen. Do you agree, Piak? Of course. Whoever misses this event, he will be called a coward. Tell me, will you join? Sure. But I'm not going to fight with them all by myself. We will just go there to enjoy. Piak? Come with us. Actually, I'm not sure I can go. Oh, come on. It's my treat. There you go. Hold it. What's this? This is your term fee. Hey, I don't want it. Where do you get this? <laughs> Pia, now that you have already skipped the school today, come on, let's go for dancing. Come on. Hey, hello. Keep the change. All right. James Dean commemoration was the best for the teens at the time. It's the even gangsters gathered and met just to expose themselves to ladies. Some announced a war, some came to finish their opponents. 
Of course, a fight is inevitable. Hey, 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 look at that lady. Just look at her. She's like an angel reborn on earth. Hey, see that she's sending us a signal. Look. Oh, that chubby one, right? Hey, not that one, man. It's the one with a scarf. Sweet thighs with big ass. Okay, I see her now. Hey, she is very pretty. Go and talk to her. Come on. Just wait for the next song and I'll ask her out for a dance. That would be great. Oh no, she's coming this way. Oh. Would you like to dance with me? Sure, I will. Hey, how can you let a dog steal your meat? You are ruining our name. <laughs> <laughs> now don't be sad. Can you see that chubby one over there? She is fit for you. If you need, I will lead her here. Hey, what's wrong with you, huh? Just shut up, both of you. <laughs> Let's go dance like this. <laughs> I am one Lapa. You can call me Pa. What is your name? My name is Dan. Dan, what a plain name. Don't you have any other name? You came alone? Yes. Your friends look a little harsh. Aren't you scary? If I was scared, I wouldn't dance with you. Are you a student? No, I'm working. By working, I mean I sing at a club. The one at Casson Road. Visit when you're free. Our likes are the same. Hey, get down from there. Hey, walk carefully, walk carefully. Hey, hey what man, did you say? Come again. Hey. Oh. Hey. Hey. hey, listen everyone, just move from here. Dang, what I was saying is, how long will it take you to be a monk? I don't know. Maybe a month? Or three? 
depends upon my mom. Mom won't allow you to work anywhere else. I'm not sure. See. What I feel is you should find some work first. I mean you should have a secure life. Living like this is dangerous. I am worried. If that's okay, then I can talk to my friend about you. It's quite possible that they can find some work for you. Like a uh, work in the night club. I think the pay is good. What's the time now? Um It's not much. It's just 5 o'clock. Oh, what happened? Are you leaving? Yeah. I have to meet Lam. Can I have one cigarette? I'm leaving. See ya. Hmm. Bye bye. Who's that? Mr. Ma appointed me. How many are there? Come inside. Boss, they are here. Come closer, Dang. Do you know how long I have been here? <clears throat> It's been 30 years now. Every little child knows me here. Get it? And they respect me too. And when a, a political leader comes here to say something, I'm the one who speaks for them. Huh? Just leave it. Just one thing. Uh, uh, you are just a newbie, right? Uh, right? Yeah, bastard! Don't even dare! <laughs> The knife. Uh, I killed someone with knife when I was 12 years old. It's good. But the sad thing is. I forgot to bring the knife out of his body. You dare enough to stab me. Kill me, huh? Why? You are a kid in my eye. Huh? Let's see. If you prostrate my feet, and I'll forgive you. Huh? Go, prostrate my feet. Come on. Come on, do as the boss do says. It. Come on, come on, bend. <laughs> Hey. <clears throat> you love your friends, right? Dang. Huh? Tell me how much you love your friends. Ah, it hurts. Ah. Ah. You bloody bastard. Oh. <laughs> Enough now. Stop it now. It's a mess now. Leave him now. Oh. Why didn't you shoot him? He nearly stabbed me. Come on, boss. How could I fire without a bullet? You stupid bastard. Why the fuck you bring it along then? Huh? Dang. Dang. Does it hurt you? Lamb. How's Lamb? He's in the hospital. He's got more than 10 stitches. 
He's in a bad shape. <gasps> careful, my dear, careful. <clears throat> Dang, please do me a favor. Become a monk for me. Please. I'll do everything that you say. I'll give up this job. But promise me one thing, that you will be a monk. Promise me that. Promise me, dang. Please, you have to promise me. Please. I am begging you. Chia, it's me. Come in, Dang. Mom, Dang is over here. Hello, ma'am. Hello, Dang. She and the tank, or Sergeant Chien, was a former tank police in the police politician era. When the power was transferred from police to army, Sergeant Chien turned himself into a gangster. He runs every dirty business. We knew him as our senior. Here. And keep it properly with you. It is not easy to find one. Dang. Let me tell you something. A gangster loves his gun more than his wife. So keep it well maintained. Don't lend it to anyone. Never leave it anywhere. Does it heavily recoil? Uh, just a bit. Yeah. Look, I want to tell you something. Just practice whenever you're free. Listen, this is a gun, it's not a toy. Once you fire at someone, make sure that he dies. If not, then you will die. Know that. Dang. Are you sure about this? Just for two dollars. Give me a popcorn. Mm. Popcorns. For me popcorns. too. How much? Popcorns. Okay. Mm. Come on, and try to have some chow mein. Chow mein is just for two dollars. What do you hey, want? Hey, that's so tasty. I would like yes, to okay. have some corn dog. Mm. Have some corn flowers. Corn cores. Yeah. Repeat the order, please. Oh, today's drink is so fantastic. Ah, oh, it's so fun. Hey, you also drink, right? I'll just taste it once at something else. Hey, hey, what's hey, up? Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? And who hey, called it? This? It was a girl. What are you doing? Stop, yeah, stop, stop it. 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 Stop just give me a Stop moment. Waiting. Do it fast. Do it fast. Do it fast. Spot Do it fast. Oh, finally. Ah, Yay. Started. Wow. <laughs> that's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking Amazing. about. Now it is something. Yeah. Very nice. Well right. said, bro. Well said. <laughs> Hey, see? <laughs> going, going right, right? Nice, I know, isn't it? I know, I have seen it. Yeah, yeah. This is now, now what he'll do? He'll go there and just kill again. that guy. Yeah, just, just, why don't you look at the movie, told you. Hey, <laughs> what happened to you? Oh. Come here. What happened? Sit next to me. Get up. <laughs> Are you hey, having? Keep quiet. Give it to me. Hey, you guys, keep quiet. Yeah, yeah, go kill him. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, all with this the hero, awesome. huh? Kill him. Yeah. Yeah, it's so fun. I love this film. Yeah, come, 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 sit here. Yeah, it's such good. Oh, now uh, see, now see what it does. Oh, he sent it something. Yeah, 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 yeah. I now it's going to kill him. Just, just, just see how he kills him. Wow, this is good. This film is so good. Every time I see this movie, I just feel something else. Oh, yes, 
Yeah. Get him. Get him. Oh, whoa. Yay. Get him. Oh. And that was his second murder. And his name became well known after that night. How are you doing today, Uncle? Not too good, really. Mahajai complains every day. Actually, Sim took a hundred from me yesterday. What about that? Do you work? Listen, Pew, you better take it easy. We are friends. We can talk. Biak, this is none of your business, okay? I have come for my opponent, the one who has beaten my boys. Who? Kek. I just want him. The others are not my target. Are you sure about this? Lately, Pathuman hasn't fought with anyone. Biak, I have always respected you. Give me Kek. I don't need the others. Hey, I'm asking you a favor. Don't make a fight. I'm sorry, Piak. This is gang's things. You don't risk your life for all of this. If you want him, beat me as well. Hit them! <laughs> Handcuffed him. Leave me! Kayak's in the worst shape. Admitted in a hospital. Dum pierced him with a pole. He is such a cruel guy. What about Pooh and Dum? They are survived, but we are not. They started the fight, but they fled, leaving us stuck in this mess. Take it easy, alright? I'll talk to him. Bastard. We were friend. Indeed a good friend. Can't believe he did this. Friend? We are no friend anymore. I'll make them pay for it. Great. Count me in it. Does anyone know about this in the school? They knew. Got some smoke? Take this. Keep it. Ouch! It hurts. If you get out from here, don't try to mess with them. Alright? You better study. I'll regret if you don't finish the school. You still have a future, my friend. Don't put it into danger. Oh, Father. So how are you, my dear Biak? Are you alright? Not much. You shouldn't have come here. Anyways, I have to bail you out today by any means. The principal of your school has promised me that he is going to deal with everything. He is really a good man. So let's not bother him any more in the future. I've warned you a lot of times. 
but I think I must warn you again. Being a gangster is not just fun and games. Today it may seem fun, but you will regret it. You will really regret it later. The past is what no one can ever fix. And then it will be too late to do anything, my dear son. I am warning you because I have also been like you. Just listen to what I'm saying. I knew that very well. I knew they were all idiots. I never liked them since the first glance. When I saw them for the first time, I decided that I won't talk to them. I will have to talk with them anyhow. Or else there will be a fight between us. Listen Dan, please don't fight with them. The manager will scold us. It won't be like that. Have us on me. Look, they are coming. I'll get going. Is that okay? I don't want to see their face. Hey, Dang. Who? Dumb. Come have a seat. What do you want to drink? Beer. Dumb, you? Same. Yesterday, I went to meet Piak. He's very frustrated. Just look at your boys. Didn't you see that how injured our boys are? He started first. You. It was you who messed up with Patwan and school sports first. Do you remember? Hey, that is not true. I just did not start it. Everyone joined that event. North Falcon did as well. No matter what. Whatever you say, but it was not Piak's fault. I had warned him, but he gave no care. What do you want me to do now? Do you think that you're good? That you keep lecturing people? You just give the lecture to your people and not me. Who? I'm warning you with a good intention. You have made a lot of enemies. I do not care. Do you want to fight me? Hmm. Fine, Who? Let it be then. Hey, Dom. You understand me, right? Don't expect anything from me. It depends on who. No matter how kind you are with them, they won't understand. I don't know what kind of friends you have. Boo and Dom. We are not friends anymore. Oh, I'm glad to hear that. Are they going to come back? I think they sure will. According to my prediction, they have become like mad dogs. This time, you should be more careful, right? Hmm. Ask Lamb that whenever you go outside, he should come with you. Dang. Listen, we are together since such a long time. Hey, listen, shall we go to Bangpur this Saturday? Please, I wanna go. Please, shall we go? I wanna go to Bangpur with you. Say something. I cannot come. I'm not free. If it's not, not so necessary, then please don't go outside. Hmm. I'm getting bored. Try to understand. 
You sit here with an angry face all day, and you don't treat me like before. You only care about those gangsters on the street. Pa, you are my girl. You will have to have patience. Ah. Uh. After I was bailed out, the principal expelled me. He expelled a lot of us. Peed, Peng, Nong left the school as well. Has your father known about this yet? I'm dare enough to tell him. I'm afraid he might be sad. Then what are you going to do next? I don't know. Dang. Can you do me a favor? Yeah, tell me. Can I join your gang? I can't be a good man then let be a bad one. At least I won't be starved. Hey. Are you joking? No, I'm serious. You shouldn't do that, Piak. It's not that you don't have any choices. You are an educated person. You can really get a very good job. <laughs> If it's that easy, why there are a lot of thieves in the age that politicians corruption causes our economy fall. Finding a job is much harder than finding a gun. If things remain the way they are, it should be next man father. It's the last auspicious day. It would be great if we became a Mong on that auspicious day. It is all right, don't worry. In case he can become a monk, then both you and I would be at ease. Isn't it? Yes, father. I'm really concerned that these guys might kill somebody or somebody might kill them. <sighs> that is how these children are. And Piak is no different. And I'm telling you that I will make him a monk after he graduates. Just because he keeps fighting day after day, he will soon land himself in jail. Yay! Yippee! Now it's your turn. Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? Dumb. Look at one lapa. She's so beautiful. Gold, you call her here and tell her that I'm treating her with beer. See, like this. Hold yeah. it like this. Okay? Yeah, correct. Yes. One lapa. Okay. Please come. Let's have some drink together. No, why should I drink beer with you? I respect you. Won't you return some respect to Pooh? What for? Is your boss that big now? <clears throat> now go and ask him. If he knows Lam Singh, Lam hey, Singh, you, you're not doing it right. Oh, the lady doesn't want to go. What can you do? Just leave him, Lam. Uh, Just leave him. Uh, Let's go. Uh, All right. I don't want to bully a kid. What happened, Lam? You think that you're a bodyguard of this girl? Let's go, Lam. Hey, leave her. Where do you think you're going? <laughs> Let me go. I'm seeing you since a while. Come with me. Let's have some beer. No, I'll go home. She's dangs. Oh, you're so arrogant. <laughs> Now I'll take uh, out uh, all this arrogance from you. Now come with me quietly. Go to hell. If Dang comes to know about this, you abuse me, stupid girl. How dare you abuse me? Ah! You bastard, Pio! Come and fight me, you coward! Hey, Lam, you better behave yourself. You ain't a man. You hurt a lady. Show this knife to your sister. Let's go, Lam. Don't mess with them. What are you guys saying? Come on, come on, leave from here. Leave, leave from here.
between Barley Gang and Bottle Bomb Gang and it's the breaking point between Dang, Liu and Dam. Since then, they kept messing with each other. Soon after that, there was a coup in October 1915. The coup committee announced a clearance of people who are gangsters in Bangkok, causing a lot of famous gangsters were under arrest. The rest fled to different places and directions. Dang Bailey was one of them who must be arrested. I had never heard of him again. I only knew he went out of Prenacorn. After that, I didn't know where exactly he went. After I was expelled, I became a gangster, ran the gambling den and whorehouse, committed money extortion. In Visutkasat area, I was known as Visit Kasat. I was chased no longer than that. I got a lie low with Sergeant Chien at Utapau. I'd never thought I would see Dang again there. This new land, at first it was just a forest, and after that, the American camp came, settled here, and I became civilized. Look, I am the first guy who sells liquor and weed to all the girls here. Find some girls for them also. Oh, it's such a good pay, you'll get in dollars. I then opened a bar. At first, there was just one bar. Right now, I don't know where they come from. Lots of bars I have. Let us drink, Dang. No, I don't drink. Stay in New Land, you must be careful. So many big guys here. Ever heard of Mr. Tech? Mr. Tech? Hmm. <sighs> He's a mafia guy from Chimpon. He runs a bar and a gambling den. A pickup bus as well. He wants the whole of New Land. He offered me to buy my bar. The offer was good, but I denied. He then sent some men messing around. <coughs> it's good to show this sometimes. This neighborhood is barbarous. To be honest, I can't stay here if I'm weak. I'm finding two or three more people to help. You will get soon someone to work with. Because right now, they are heavily chased in Parancon. Oh, come here. This is Gob. She works for me. Gob, pay Dang some respect. Hello. She is a tomboy. Quite boyish. If you want anything, just tell her. Ah, shall you stay here with me? I might stay here for a couple of more days, I think. When Cash will go from here, then... I'll be ordinated. Ordinated? You are being ordinated? It's all for my mom. She was asking me since a long time. And what about your mother? How is she right now? My mom? Well, she's at home. I haven't seen her for a year. When she dies, I'm not even sure if I'll be able to go to her funeral. Hey, who's that? Dang, check it out. Piyak. Hey, 
Hey, Dang. Who are you writing to? Mm, I'm writing it to my mom. See this. <laughs> this is good. Your mom will be at ease. <laughs> hey, have a seat, Pia. Chen got out of jail. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. He has a business trip at Matraput this morning. Thanks. So then, how did you reach till here, my friend? Just went nowhere. Don't know where to go. I then decided to come here. I heard Sergeant Sheehan is running a bar. I thought I would go to Udon staying with my grandma if I didn't meet him. They can chase you too, right? <laughs> yeah, that's why I came here. <laughs> Does your father know that you're here? He knows that I am lying low, but he doesn't know where I am. To be honest, this is not going good. You should... You should have finished your school. Can't help. I chose my own path. Yeah. Those in Prankon have been arrested, right? <laughs> All of them. Lerm, Lek, Est. Hey, Dang, can you remember S. Lang Wang? Sure. He and I, we almost killed each other. Yeah. You know, Pew and Dum's gang was under arrested You too. and Dum were arrested too? Um, no. I don't know where are they. They are smart dogs. Just a rumor and they lied low. Hey, look. <laughs> Please, let us Somebody go. Let us go from here. Please. Dang, this room. Please. But this is locked. Whose voices are coming from inside? Open the door. Go. Come here. Hey, who let is in there? Out. How is it locked? Please go. let us out from here. Go. Leave Come over here. Hey, I'm coming. I'm coming. It's so late. What's the matter? I want to sleep. Who is there hey, in the they room? are just girls. Shan bought them. I don't know. He just ordered me to keep them. Why is the door locked? Because he told me to lock them. He forced them to be prostitutes, but three of them were very stubborn. That's why he had to do this. He told me not to give them any food till they are ready. Open the door. No way. He said don't open it. Open Chen the door. Chen ordered me not to. I said uh, open the door. Hey. <laughs> All right. Hurry up. Okay, okay. Fine. I'm opening. Do it fast. <laughs> hey, what's this smell? It's so smelly. You bloody fool! Uh, How could you do this? How could you do this? Tell me! Tell me! Hey, hey Dang! That's enough! Gob? Gob? She passed out. I'm really sorry. I was really mad at her. Besides being a woman, how could she do this? Gob, normally Dang was a calm person. But he turned as mad as I had ever seen that day. I did what I could have done. Now that I am just a guest, think carefully, you guys. All your parents have sold you over here. You guys will have to make up your mind. And if you all cannot make up your mind, and if you guys cannot prepare yourself, then I very well know that what's going to happen with you all. Whatever I have said to all of you, it doesn't mean that I want to take you on a wrong path with me. But try to understand one thing, that if you don't have a correct and right path to choose for, 
<laughs> and when you don't have anywhere to run, then you have to face the situation. Huh? <laughs> this fight is about life and death. <laughs> you people should rethink about this once more. And only after that make a decision. <laughs> These were the three girls who fell into a trap. Now they had only two choices. It's do or die. All right then, check it out. Gob, come over here. Let me see. Does it hurt? Yes. Let me see. Yes, does it, it hurt hurts bad? A lot. How bad is it? It hurts a bit. <coughs> now? Does it hurt? Now get the hell out of here. Get out of my house. Just stop pretending. What a useless creature you are. Just get out. Go. For gangsters like us, nothing was more important than winning each other's heart. And that was the perfect decision Sergeant Chien made, which I liked about him. The letter Dang wrote to his mom was an oath becoming a monk after the work in Utapau. But I wondered if he could do it or not, since Sergeant Chien's business was going good. Dang, you remember the time I was expelled from the college? I asked you to let me in your gang. I know that, and I even stopped you. <laughs> that was funny, that we are working together now. Biak, no matter what you say, but I don't have any doubt that your future was much more brighter than me. I know that you are concerned. Thanks a lot. Huh. There's only one gambling den in Rayong. And it is Headman Dix. I have once gone there. It's in Thairu Bay. It's just an old building. There are Sigbo, Fantan, and two or three card tables. No chip exchange. It's only cash. Nothing else works there. All the customers are from Maptapoth and they are rich. No fishermen there. And no foreigners either. I think that if we want to open a casino, we need to make it better than Macau's. We need a baccarat. We need a poker, and we need a chip to exchange baths and dollars. Make it luxurious. Huh? Build in a bar to serve the drink. Attract the girls and the rich from Pranacorn. And leave their 10,000 baths a time. But running a gambling den is a big thing, bro. No worries about the budget. I've got a good sponsor. 
Mr. Leah wants to run a casino to compete with the head Bentek without revealing himself. Do you think our connections are good or we will be ruined? I know that, but I have some good connections. Don't forget, I was a cop earlier. At least my ex-boss might help me here. We'll look after the casino security. I don't have that many people. I'm thinking of finding some skilled men from Pranacon. Do you know anyone from there? If you want, I can call Lam Singh. Lam Singh? Great. Call him now. Okay, Shien, tell me, when will you start? We'll be going to the 10th milestone tomorrow. It'll be good if we can start. And I want to talk about the duty too. After the casino's finished, dang, you take care of it. Lam Singh will be your assistant. And Piak, you manage the bar. I'll find someone to help you too. How's that? Whatever you say, no problem for me. There's only one thing which I'm concerned about, the Headman Tech. Headman Tech? <laughs> Once we run the casino, then it's very obvious that we are going to face a war with him. We will need to prepare ourselves, or else we can get into a lot of trouble with him. Well, whatever it is, we've got to work. I've got you guys over here. I'm not scared of anyone. Dirty business was going good. The casino was running pretty good. Lansing was called in from Prenacon to help them. At that time, Newland economy was the greatest. We all were having fun with the money we raised, without realizing of a disaster close by. We all were busy raising the money. He hit the card. I saw it. What are you gonna do, Dang? What do you think about it? Will you accept it or not? Hey! Give us the answer. Do you agree or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. Great then. So now you will return every bath on the table, alright? You get that? Trust me, there will be a lot of chaos. You just return it. You cheated them, right? Yeah, okay, fine. Quick! Can I go back now? No. <sighs> Take these three cards and you eat them all. <laughs> Dang, I have to talk to you. Huh? I'll be right back. Yeah. Hey, great. Because you hit them. Now do it quick. Come on, hurry up. Eat it now. Quick. <laughs> Eat it now, fast! Chew it! <laughs> quick, quick! Eat it, eat it! Eat it! Eat it! <laughs> yeah. Now you can go. And don't let me see your face again. Go! Or I will let you eat all the cards on the table. Come on, man. Yeah, yeah, come on, mine too, yeah. Yeah, okay, fine. What's up, lamb? Long time no see. How are you? You should have asked me first. It's been a long time already. Don't be so mad about it now. Forgive him once. You don't know that how dangerous he is. I know. But I also know that they need a shelter as well. Let's talk about work first. Don't be serious about something else. That's the problem, my friend. We all are in a big mess. I will assign P.U. and Dumb for the work at the bar. So you will not be able to see them. Okay then. What do you think, Piak? 
Well, I have, I have no problem. It's been a long past already. But like what Dang said, both of them are going to ruin us. Hey, I will handle this thing. I shall keep it in my sight always. You guys just clear your own problems. We gotta work together, right? Then there shouldn't be any trouble amongst us. And we also need more workers. Dang. Piak. I'm begging both of you. Do me a favor once. Lam, where is Dang? Upstairs. He seems upset lately, don't you think? It's because of Sergeant Shien. I think he shouldn't take those two in. He even knows that they can't get along. Huh? Maybe there is no one left. Nobody left in Pranakon now. Pew and Derm are going to join the bar very soon, I guess. What? So what do you think? What can I say now? Shien is my senior. He is good to me. I need to rely on him nowadays. But now he leaves them to me. You know it's impossible, right? I think they sure mess up soon. Hey, hey. what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> we are too bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not stealing your customers. Mine are just politicians and the girls. Everyone knows that your Dan is the best over here. But don't forget that I am the first. It's quite hard to say that in this new land. To be honest, I'm the first pioneer who came over here. What a good talk. This means you give no care that who is the head and who is the toe. That's bad. Oh, so that is what you want. Well, it's up to you. Let's say that we each run the business separately. You do your job and I'll do mine. Our paths will not cross. But you are the one who cross it now. I'm warning you gently. I know you have got good hands from Pranacon. But what can the newborn do? Hey, no, this is not bad, he can go far. If there's nothing else now, then please excuse me. Come on. Just tell me, who are that guys? Come here, my darling. Come here. Uh, uh, ah. You can't behave like this. You are annoying all the guests. They are not guests. They are just foreigners. Do you want to fight me? Yeah? Do you want to fight you me? You are drunk. Just go away from here. You are a shameless person. What? Oh, I'm just talking with you. That's why you're annoyed with me? You don't have any problems fucking See, with them? See, this is my workplace. Don't irritate me. Or else I'll tell everything to Piak. You got it? Ah. Yes, then go ahead. Am I scared? Who oh, I'm saying, leave me alone. Oh, really? You are getting hurt. And what about ah. me? Hey, boy. You the easy way to... Oh, oh. Oh. Hey, you. You, you asshole. Oh, 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 shit. It's not hurt. Oh, hey, run from here. Oh, hey, what are you doing? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, 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 run. Oh, 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 what's happening? Run, run, run from here. Oh, 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 Fucking asshole! Hey, just look at them. What hey, are you doing? Hey, don't What are you doing? Stop, Stop it now! Leave them hey. alone! Hey, dumb! Stop! Hey, listen! Come on, Jack. It might become a big thing. We'll ah. be in trouble. Listen to me. Ah. We gotta wait till next week for it to reopen. What the hell? Never thought it would be so messy. Let's hand them to the cops. To send them to die. They've got a lot of crimes. 
We've got to help them. Let's talk about this later. I spent 10,000 on compensations. The detective wants to pay back as well. What a bloody mess. It's the demand of police people. It's none of our business. Mm -hmm. Listen, I will lower their duties. I've ordered them not to show up at the bar. Let them lie low for some time. Be careful. They can stab you in the back. Just the way they did with me before. I'm sorry. Just go to sleep if you're hey drunk. Dear, I'm not drunk, really. I can drink until dawn. Uh, oh, come on. You're drunk like a dog. No, Stop I'm showing not. off now. Oh. You? Oh. This bitch is so annoying. Oh. What are you going to do? What do you mean? Both of us now are outcasted. I think even Sergeant Sheen has now betrayed us. Sergeant Sheen? He can't dare to do that. You don't know how much he trusts Mr. Dang. Plus, he doesn't like us. That bastard Dang, I know him very well. Once he's vengeful, it's not gonna stop. Asshole Dang! I don't know what did I do in my last life that I have him in this life as well. But whatever it is, but we are gonna make him pay anyway. He has to pay us for all the 13 stores. Whatever happens, we have very less money left with us. I'll make him pay. And I will squeeze into a pulp, into a pulp, and into a pulp! I Asshole. told you I'm not drunk. I'll show my body. Ah. Hey, go away ah. from here! Oh. Huh. I'm going to Bangkok. Do you want something from there? Hmm. After going to that place, please say hi to my friends. Especially to Gurko. I don't know whether he's alive or dead. I'll find him. Are you going to meet your mother? Yeah, of course. I'm going to give her some money. Gotta do something for her. Well, uh, do you want to give something to your mom? It's okay. I just don't want to bother you. I'll send her money according to the requirement every month to my mom. If you say so, I'm leaving now. Look after the business, all right? All right. See ya. You don't then. worry about it. I will handle it. Okay. Bye. You take care of yourself. Wait a minute! The news Sergeant Sheehan was shot to death set a chaos in all of us. More than sadness was a confusion. Losing a Sheehan as leader sailed us to middle of nowhere. Although we are famous gangsters, we are actually just a team trembling in fear. We were not wise enough for a big guy's game. A picture of an old mother joining her son's funeral was too sad to explain. After watching all this, we were quite nervous. Now what to do, Dang? At what time did he reach over here? Just a while ago, I think. He always comes with trouble. Just give me that. What problem do you have? Falls deep in that. Even messes up the den. 
the customers are leaving us dang make a phone call and call everyone inside i want to talk to everyone i also want the same come on hey at this palace man do you have the money can't you lend that to me hmm If you want to play over here, you need to follow the rules. What are the rules, Dang? You must exchange a chip. Only then you can play. I'm broke right now. Can I pay later? Yeah, he bets for thousands but never pay. Hey asshole, did anyone ask you? If you don't have money with you, then get out of here right now. Fine, fine. Then you take this as a chip exchange. Hey, no. Yoi, give me a chip of thousand. All right, dang. A thousand, right? Give it to him. Hey! <laughs> drop the gun. I said drop the gun. Don't do that, boo. I'm telling you the truth. Go. You both get out of here. And don't show me your ugly face next time. You will have to repay for this dang. I'm not going to forget this. Yeah. Spend it as you wish. We can talk later. Hmm. There's everything in Utapao. Liquor, lady, bat and money. If you know how to live your life, this is the heaven on earth. <laughs> New land is really civilized. The night is as beautiful as the day, totally different from the past. You may think I'm fencing unless we developed it to be the tourist attraction. As we see, no one would come here. Well, once it civilized people come digging the gold chance. So they have lost Sergeant Xian. Who is left now over there? the same dang barely piak whistle kasat and lam singh hmm just tell me when you want it i will do it if you don't want to die just don't leave the place the rest everyone just go from here go from here Go 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 get out get out from here all right all right come on get out you like to say you don't have to move from your place okay get out from here come on don't let me go hey you come here come here no no come here my baby leave me just keep quiet just keep quiet don't make noise whoever comes in my way i'm going to kill them go just keep quiet Just keep quiet or else I'll shoot you.
How is she now? She hasn't revived yet. Her health is getting way worse. What are you gonna do next? Biak? Hmm? You go and whatever is left over, you go and sell everything. And after selling them, whatever money you get, please bring it back to me. And tell them that we both are separated. And what about Mr. Liang? Go and clear the balance at the bank. Return his money back to him. And return the money to all those we owe money. And do everything by today itself. Okay. And also tell everyone that, that we are closing the business from now on. Dang, 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 is what happened okay? today? Go back, no. mom. You'll be in danger. Go back. Right. I know what's I happened. Right. Tell me. Wow. Wow. Take no, her back inside. Tell me what has happened. Oh, mom, I want to calm know. Calm down, mom. <sighs> calm down, mom. You have sent me a letter that I don't become a monk. Why? Why did he have to send such a letter? Relax and calm down, mom. It's a very long story. Try to understand, Mom. We should postpone the ordination for a few days. Never. I will not allow that. I've made this decision a long time ago. I will not cancel it. Move aside. Mom! Mom why are you doing this? I'm going to meet Piu. I'll beg Mom. him for your ordination. I'll ask him why he doesn't want you to become a monk. Mom! Why don't you? Why don't you understand? I have to ask him. Why is he doing this to you? Mom, please try to understand Dang. me. Dang! Dang! Dang, I've been waiting for this day since so long. I wanted to see you in the yellow robe of the monk. Before I die, I wanted to see you become a monk. <laughs> All right, I'll do as you say. I will obey your command. That is great. 
You don't be afraid, son. Once you, once you become a monk, then everything will be fine. <laughs> now you should go inside the house. It's yes. not safe outside. Let's get in, mom. Please. <laughs> yes. Come, okay. let's go inside. <sighs> How is it? Someone saw a motorcycle ran past them. There were only two of them. But no one can see their faces. What a regret. They would be smashed into pulp if being caught. I think they just want to mess this up. Lamb and Paul, you go and tell everyone that tonight everyone should be prepared for this. And tomorrow morning, gather everyone so that all of them can guard the Naga parade. And if you see Pooh and Dumb anywhere, then without a single thought, just go and kill them. All right. Paul, hey, go and help him. Piak, can you keep my gun with you? I don't need this anymore. These things don't matter to me. Hey, Dang, do you really think Pew's gonna destroy the ordination? Yes, he will do it for sure. I know that person very nicely. We shouldn't have let them free back then. I told you to kill them. Dang's becoming a monk, but he still keep messing things. Piak, my body can maybe transform itself into a monk. But my soul can never, never ever. Oh! 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 Oh!
Dang Barley, a person who wanna ordain as a monk for his mom, can't finally be a part of Buddhism. Like it never wants a person like him. So Pew and Dumb was sent to obstruct him. Or maybe a person like Dang never allowed to be a monk, since both his body and mind are just a gangster. Not long after that, Dang was arrested by his crimes. After he got out, he went to run a dirty business, made himself powerful in Penang, before he went back to build a house repaying his mom's obligation. In late 1967, Dang left his gangs and became Mr. Ju's right hand at Chonburi. That was the last time I saw him. He died at the age of 24 from a car accident of that trip. He died like James Dean, the idol he respected.